WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good Monday morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday morning. We got 30 minutes to go until the start of trading, but we got action out there already. Overnight, S&Ps trade to a high of 44.72, and just like that, we give it up, folks. We're negative 11 points. You take it from the highs of 44.72, and you're talking about 45 points about. We make a low just in the last half hour. Your low on the S&Ps this morning, 44.27, so 45 points exactly from high to low. We kick off the week. We had quite a volatile week last week just from the overnight session. You're down about 1% from the highs we made overnight. All the markets were in higher territory last night. You take a look at the NASDAQ 100. We were up to 15,399. And just like that, you give up almost 250 points. Actually dipped below any of the action on Friday before we charge higher. You get the NASDAQ 100 down 8 tenths percent. We get some rising yields this morning. We'll jump over to that in a moment. We have the Dow in positive territory by 32 points right now. That's about tenth of percent. You got the Russell up about a tenth of percent as well, up three points at 22.47. Bitcoin catching a bid. Check out the action almost all of Friday's action in terms of you get back where we were on Friday, you open up the session about 41,000. This morning, we're up another $1,200 on Bitcoin at 43,795. And you see, kind of right almost where we began Friday's action in Bitcoin. Crude just does not stop. 7562, folks, you put this thing on a daily. I mean, we're right up to this upper boundary line, the highs in the crude contract going back to July 6th. So you're talking about almost four months ago, 76.98. And this morning, we're trading within almost a dollar of that price level, up another dollar 31 in crude. Man, quite a rocket ship in that crude market. Gold contract somewhat flat this morning. Gold trading up two dollars at 17.54. You put gold on a daily, kind of bumping up against some of the lower boundary lines compared to crude. Silver's up 23 cents this morning. Silver as well pushing things back a little bit in terms of a weekly. Silver, bottom area of that consolidation. And you are going back to, folks, July of 2020 in terms of when silver broke above $22. We're trading at $22.62. We bounced on a couple occasions back in the end of 2020. We also bounced in about the beginning of August from that price level, got all the way up to $25 about on silver. We got to talk about notes and bonds. Putting it back on a short-term chart, we get the 10-year right now. We're pushing yields at 1.5%, actually made it down to 131.19. You're still negative eight ticks this morning with a yield of 1.49%. Stay tuned, folks. I'll be coming back with the morning market kickoff, live programming all day at TFNN. We got lots to talk about. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. <laughs> 